Born in 1952 in Salt Lake City, Utah, the producer had a humble upbringing. The producer's parents, a Jewish immigrant father, and a mother with roots in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, instilled a strong work ethic in their children. However, financial struggles were a constant part of their lives. As a child, the producer found solace in humor, often using it as a coping mechanism. This early exposure to comedy would later become a significant influence in her life. The producer's journey into the world of entertainment began in the 1980s when she started performing stand-up comedy. Her raw, honest, and relatable humor quickly gained attention, leading to appearances on popular shows like The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. In 1988, the producer created and starred in her own television show, Roseanne. The show was a groundbreaking portrayal of a working-class family, tackling issues such as poverty, gender equality, and mental health. It resonated with audiences, becoming one of the most popular shows of its time. Key influences in the producer's life include comedians such as Richard Pryor and George Carlin. Their bold, unapologetic humor inspired the producer to create her unique brand of comedy. Additionally, the producer cites her own experiences growing up in a working-class family as a significant influence on her work. Mentors such as Marcy Carsey and Tom Werner, co-founders of Carsey Werner Productions, played a crucial role in the producer's career. They believed in her vision for Roseanne and provided the support and resources necessary to bring the show to life. In recent years, the producer has continued to use her platform to advocate for working-class families and women's rights. Her impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable, inspiring a new generation of comedians and writers to create authentic, relatable stories. Producer Roseanne Barr is a household name, known for her groundbreaking work in television. She first gained fame for her hit sitcom Roseanne, which tackled working-class issues with humor and honesty. The show became a cultural phenomenon and remains relevant today. After Roseanne, producer Barr continued to make an impact in the entertainment industry. She starred in her own talk show, The Roseanne Show, and appeared in various film and television roles. Her fearless approach to comedy and willingness to tackle controversial topics has earned her a devoted following. Perhaps you have been inspired by producer Barr's ability to break barriers and pave the way for working class representation in media. Or maybe you hold her early work close to your heart, finding comfort in the relatable struggles of the Connor family and Roseanne. Do you have a personal story of how producer Roseanne Barr has impacted your life? or a favorite role or performance that resonates with you? We'd love to hear your memories and experiences in the comments below. And stay tuned, because there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about producer Roseanne Barr's life and career. Keep watching this video to learn more about this classic star. Ever since she was a young girl, the producer was drawn to the world of entertainment. She would often put on shows for her family, using her natural comedic timing to make them laugh. However, it wasn't until she was working as a waitress in the 1980s that she discovered her passion for creating and producing her own content. One day, while working at a local diner, she overheard some customers talking about a new TV show that they had seen. They described it as a realistic portrayal of working-class family life, something that she could relate to all too well. This sparked an idea in her mind. She thought, I could do that. I could create a show that truly represents the lives of people like me. With this newfound determination, she began writing and producing her own comedy sketches, drawing inspiration from her own experiences growing up in a blue-collar family. Her raw, unfiltered humor quickly gained attention, and she soon landed a gig as a stand-up comedian. But the producer knew that she wanted to do more than just perform. She wanted to create a platform for other working-class voices to be heard. So, she took a leap of faith and created her own TV show, Roseanne. The show was an instant hit resonating with audiences who saw themselves reflected on the screen. It broke new ground in its portrayal of a strong, flawed, and funny matriarch, and it paved the way for other working-class comedies to follow. Looking back on her journey, the producer is grateful for that fateful day in the diner. It was the moment that sparked her passion for creating and producing content that truly reflects the lives of everyday people, and she continues to inspire and empower others through her work to this day. The producer, known for her groundbreaking work, has an impressive filmography. She gained recognition with the sitcom Roseanne, which aired from 1988 to 1997, and was rebooted in 2018. This show, centered on a working-class family, resonated with audiences, and tackled relevant social issues. Another must-watch is The Roseanne Bar Show, a talk show hosted by the producer herself, which ran from 1998 to 2000.
It showcased her humor and candidness, further endearing her to fans. In 2011, she produced and starred in Roseanne's Nets, a reality show following her life on a macadamia nut farm in Hawaii. This project offered a unique glimpse into her personal life and interests. For those new to her work, starting with Roseanne is recommended. Its relatable characters and timeless humor provide an excellent introduction to her storytelling. Moving on to the Roseanne Bar. Show offers a different perspective, highlighting her versatility as a producer and personality. In conclusion, this producer's work has left an indelible mark on television, offering a range of engaging and thought-provoking content. Early in her career, the producer faced significant financial struggles. To make ends meet, she worked various jobs, including being a waitress and a salesperson. Despite these challenges, she never lost sight of her dream to create entertaining content. The entertainment industry was also skeptical of the producer's unconventional approach to comedy. She often faced rejection and was told that her humor was too edgy and controversial for mainstream audiences. However, she remained determined to challenge the status quo and create a show that reflected the lives of ordinary people. To overcome industry skepticism, the producer turned to alternative avenues for showcasing her work. She performed in comedy clubs and developed a following through her stand-up comedy. Her unique voice and perspective eventually caught the attention of television executives who gave her the opportunity to create her own show. Roseanne, the show produced by her, was groundbreaking in its portrayal of a working-class family. It tackled issues such as poverty, gender inequality, and mental health with humor and empathy. The show resonated with audiences and became a rating success, proving that there was an appetite for the producer's brand of comedy. Despite facing numerous obstacles, the producer's resilience and determination paid off. She found creative solutions to overcome financial struggles and industry skepticism, ultimately creating a show that left a lasting impact on television. After the successful premiere of the show, the producer phoned lead producer Marcy Carsey, demanding that several staff members be fired or she would quit. Carsey refused, leading to a strained relationship. The producer was known for causing production problems, including temper tantrums, screaming at co-workers, locking herself in her dressing room, and threatening to quit multiple times. The tension reached a peak when the producer posted a controversial tweet, leading to backlash and accusations of bad behavior. She reached out to ABC executives, begging for them to keep the show on the air and offering to do anything to make things right. However, her efforts were unsuccessful as the network canceled the show. Despite the controversy, the producer's impact on the show is undeniable. Her portrayal of Roseanne Connor resonated with audiences and helped the show become a cultural phenomenon. However, her behavior behind the scenes caused strain with cast and crew members and ultimately led to the show's downfall. The producer's legacy is complex, marked by both her contributions to the entertainment industry and the challenges she faced in her career. In the late 1980s, the producer made a significant breakthrough with the groundbreaking television show Roseanne. The sitcom, which she starred in and co-created, focused on a working-class family, breaking away from the traditional portrayal of affluent families on television. The show gained critical acclaim for its realistic depiction of blue-collar America and its bold approach to tackling controversial issues such as poverty, unemployment, and feminism. The show's success was not only due to its timely subject matter, but also to the producer's relatable and authentic performance. Critics praised her for her portrayal of a strong, flawed, and funny matriarch, which resonated with audiences. The show's writers also acknowledged the producer's contribution to the show's success, citing her input in shaping the character and the show's direction. In 1993, the producer achieved another milestone with the release of the film The Roseanne Arnold Show. The talk show was one of the first to feature a female comedian as the host, and it was praised for its irreverent humor and the producer's willingness to tackle taboo subjects. The show's success led to the producer being recognized as a trailblazer for women in comedy and television. The producer's career has been marked by several breakthrough moments, each contributing to her status as a groundbreaking figure in the entertainment industry. Her work has not only gained critical acclaim, but has also left a lasting impact on the representation of working class families and women in media. In a recent interview, producer expressed remorse for the controversial tweet that led to her firing from the show. She described herself as a hate magnet and a Jew, highlighting the negative attention she has received. Charlie Day from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia shared his thoughts on the situation, 
stating that the problem arises when there is no thought behind inappropriate jokes. He believes that the recent events are forcing people to think more about the things they say and write, which he considers a good thing. John Goodman, producer's co-star, recently broke his silence on the issue, stating that he knows for a fact that producer is not a racist. Goodman's support for producer highlights the complexity of the situation and the challenges that arise when personal beliefs and public actions collide. The aftermath of producer's tweet has undoubtedly caused a stir in the entertainment industry, leading to discussions about the role of social media and the consequences of inappropriate jokes. As the industry continues to grapple with these issues, it is clear that the impact of producers' actions will be felt for some time. The producer, Roseanne Barr, is known for her unique approach to creating art that reflects her personal experiences and worldview. Growing up in a working-class family in Salt Lake City, Utah, shaped her perspective and influenced her work. She uses humor and authenticity to explore the complexities of everyday life, often drawing from her own experiences as a mother, wife, and woman in society. Barr's creative process is rooted in her ability to observe and analyze the world around her. She draws inspiration from her personal life and the people she meets, using their stories and experiences to create authentic and relatable characters. Her use of humor is a way to connect with her audience and make difficult or uncomfortable topics more accessible. One of the most notable aspects of Barr's work is her willingness to tackle controversial subjects. She uses her platform to address social and political issues, often challenging the status quo and sparking conversations. Her ability to approach these topics with humor and authenticity has made her work resonate with audiences. Barr's personal experiences and worldview are also reflected in her approach to producing. She values collaboration and inclusivity, often working with diverse teams to bring her vision to life. Her commitment to authenticity and representation has made her a trailblazer in the industry. In the end, Roseanne Barr's unique approach to creating art is a reflection of her personal experiences and worldview. Her use of humor, authenticity, and willingness to tackle controversial subjects has made her work resonate with audiences and leave a lasting impact on the industry. Producer Roseanne Barr has been open about her personal life, sharing details of her relationships and marriages. She has been married four times, first to Bill Pentland in 1974, with whom she had three children. After their divorce in 1990, she married Tom Arnold, an American actor and comedian, in 1990. Their marriage was highly publicized, and they starred together in the show Roseanne. However, their relationship was fraught with difficulties, and they divorced in 1994. In 1995, producer Roseanne Barr married Ben Thomas, who was her personal security guard. They had one son together, but their marriage was short-lived, and they divorced in 2002. Her fourth and current marriage is to Johnny Argent, a musician and writer, whom she met online in 23. They have been together since then, and although they have no children together, they share a close bond. Producer Roseanne Barr has also been open about her struggles with mental health, including her diagnosis of bipolar disorder. She has spoken publicly about her experiences with therapy, medication, and electroconvulsive therapy. In addition, she has faced backlash for her controversial political views and has been involved in several scandals throughout her career. Despite these challenges, producer Roseanne Barr has remained a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. She has continued to produce and star in various shows and films, showcasing her talent and versatility as a performer. Her personal life, while filled with ups and downs, has only added to her intrigue and has made her a more relatable and authentic figure in the industry. Initially, the producer made waves with a show that brought a fresh perspective to television, portraying a working-class family with a candid sense of humor. This approach not only entertained but also sparked conversations about real-life issues resonating with audiences across the nation. Industry experts often cite the show as a turning point in sitcom history, where the narrative shifted to include more authentic and relatable characters. Those inspired by the producer's work have followed suit, creating content that mirrors the complexities of everyday life, thus broadening the scope of storytelling in television. The producer's boldness in content and style has encouraged a generation of writers, and producers to explore themes that were once considered too risky for mainstream TV. After the controversy surrounding the racist tweet comparing senior Obama advisor Valerie Jarrett to an ape, producer Roseanne Barr claimed it was a huge misunderstanding. She defended herself by stating that she didn't know Jarrett was an African-American woman, thinking she was Middle Eastern instead. 
However, this implies that she thought it was acceptable to compare someone from the Middle East to an ape, which is still a harmful stereotype throughout the show. Producer was the only character to appear in every episode, making her presence significant. However, Laurie Metcalf and Michael Fishman were absent for a handful of episodes, and John Goodman was absent for a dozen episodes during the final season. The Connors, the spin-off show after producer's departure, lost a significant portion of its audience. The second episode saw a 25% drop in viewers from the premiere, with a 1.7 rating and 7.9 million viewers. This decline may be due to viewers tuning in solely to see how producer's pro-Trump character would be written off. Industry insiders are already speculating about the show's cancellation. Additionally, the producer has shown a deep commitment to various social causes. She has been particularly vocal about issues such as animal rights and has supported organizations that work towards the welfare of animals. Her love for animals is often reflected in her work, where she emphasizes kindness and compassion as central themes. The producer's dedication to these causes is not just limited to financial support. She actively participates in events and campaigns that aim to raise awareness and bring about positive change. Her personal beliefs and values clearly influence her professional choices, demonstrating a seamless blend of her work and passions. After dropping out of Salt Lake High School East, producer's career took a remarkable turn. She became known for her role as Roseanne Connor in the show named after her. At the final season, she earned a substantial sum of $650,000 per episode, the show had its share of behind-the-scenes drama. Previously, Valerie Harper was replaced by Sandy Duncan due to creative differences with Lorimar producers. Ironically, producer faced a similar situation with Matt Williams, leading to his dismissal. As a joke, producer changed her door name to Sandy Duncan during the dispute. In a twist of fate, producer's show was rebooted years later. However, a Twitter spree led to its cancellation. This raised speculation about resurrecting the show, similar to Valerie Harper's The Hogan Family, which continued after her departure. The network considered continuing Roseanne as the Connor family, but this did not materialize. Interestingly, both Harper and producer gained fame playing characters of different religious backgrounds. Harper, a Protestant, played a Jewish character, while producer, a Jewish woman, portrayed a Protestant character, Roseanne Connor, who is a mix of different beliefs, although not proudly Jewish like her real-life counterpart. Producers seem to downplay this aspect while creating her on-screen persona. Reflecting on the legacy of producer Roseanne Barr, one cannot ignore her groundbreaking work in television. She broke barriers by portraying a working-class mother on her self-titled show Roseanne, which aired from 1988 to 1997. The show resonated with audiences, tackling real-life issues with humor and authenticity, Barr's impact on the industry extends beyond her on-screen presence. She was a pioneer for women in production, demonstrating that they could create and run successful shows. Her willingness to address controversial topics head-on, such as domestic abuse, poverty, and sexuality, paved the way for future producers to tackle similar issues. When asked about her future contributions, Barr expressed her desire to continue creating content that challenges the status quo. She hopes to inspire a new generation of producers to take risks and push boundaries. For aspiring producers, Barr offers the following advice don't be afraid to speak your truth and tell the stories that matter to you. It's important to be authentic and stay true to your vision, even if it means facing criticism or backlash. She also emphasizes the importance of diversifying one's skill set. Producers need to be jack of all trades, able to wear many hats, and adapt to changing circumstances. Learn as much as you can about all aspects of production, from writing and directing to editing and marketing. Finally, Barr encourages aspiring producers to be resilient and persistent. Success in this industry doesn't come easy. You'll face rejection and setbacks, but it's important to keep pushing forward. Believe in yourself and your abilities and don't give up. As we reflect on the career of the producer, many of us remember her groundbreaking sitcom from the late 80s and 90s. The show broke barriers by portraying a working-class family with raw humor and honesty resonating with millions of viewers. The producer's character, Roseanne Connor, became an icon for many women who saw themselves in her struggles and triumphs. The show tackled issues like poverty, gender roles, and mental health, leaving an indelible mark on television history. Apart from her acting and producing work, the producer also dabbled in stand-up comedy, singing, and even ran for president in 2012. Her bold and unapologetic voice has always been present in her work, making her a unique 
and influential figure in the entertainment industry. However, like many public figures, the producer's career has not been without controversy. Her personal views and actions have sparked debates and backlash, leading to consequences in her professional life. Now we would love to hear your thoughts on the producer's work and legacy. Do you have a favorite episode from her show? How has her career influenced your perspective on entertainment and representation? Share your memories and opinions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this content, please like, share, and subscribe for more articles celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Your support helps us continue to create engaging and thought-provoking content for our community.